Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Alex and I are out here in Flagstaff in Arizona and uh, we're very excited to be spending this long weekend up here. We booked a very unique or cool stay with Airbnb that I'm excited to show you in a little bit here. And so in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can find unique stays on Airbnb. A lot of times you see people going out glamping or you see people staying in Airstreams or tree houses or camper vans. And that's what I want to talk about in this video here so that you can have a unique adventure for yourself. We just got to our Airbnb for the next two nights and I'm so excited to show it to you. Let's go. This is the inside of the camper van or the motor home. There's the living room right here. We've got a nice space to, to sit down and then there's a table over there with some cushions, which I'm very excited to just sit there and probably eat a meal. And then right here is the kitchen. I feel like we pretty much have everything that we will need over the next few days. There's a coffee maker, there is a microwave, there's a TV. I didn't even see the TV earlier. We got some snacks and our host just gave us a bunch of eggs. They have a little barn over there where they have a couple of chickens and some horses and they just gave us a bunch of eggs that I'm very excited to try in a little bit here. We've got glasses oh look at that i'm a happy camper <laughs> one for you all for me i'm discovering for the first time too oh, i've got bowls and plates ready for the bedroom mm. all right welcome to the bedroom <laughs> this is the bedroom this is the master bedroom and this is for Otto. nice Life is beautiful. These are two photos of the horses that they have outside. We didn't go to say hi yet, but maybe we'll do it later on today. And there's a shower. That's the shower. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Like, do I, can I even fit in there? Okay, well, see you later. We're gonna go camping now. Go by, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm assuming right here is probably extra storage. Nah, oh, it's, no. it's, it's the social room. Oh. That's where you get to make friends or break friends. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And there's actually an extra bed. So that can probably accommodate up to four people. Look at this. I'm going to try to get myself a bed. Mm. No shoes this time. All right, ready? I love the inside of the camper but what I love the most is the view that we get to enjoy all to ourselves out here When I'm traveling and I know that I'm going the Airbnb route, I try to put some extra time and effort in finding unique stays just to kind of add some extra charm to the overall experience, especially if you are traveling to destinations with opportunities for unique stays. If you are traveling, for example, to Amsterdam, chances are there will be some Airbnbs by the water or by the canals. If you are traveling to an area with a lot of forests, there might be some tree houses or yurts that you can rent out from Airbnb. Airbnb makes this process of finding unique stays very easy and I'm gonna go jump back to my computer to show you how that works. I'm gonna head over to Airbnb, to my account, and I'm going to pick a location. I'm gonna pick Amsterdam as an example. And then for the check-in, check-out, let's go for April and let's say Thursday. 
checking out on Sunday and that is going to be for one guest and search. So usually when you hit search on Airbnb, that is going to return a bunch of options and then it's up to you to specify all of the details when it comes to the type of place, the price, what are some of the amenities that you are interested in. But in order to find a unique stay, you're gonna go up here to filters, top right. And like I said, you can see some options to specify how many bedrooms, bathrooms you're interested in, uh, what type of booking you are interested in. But if you scroll all the way down here, there will be a section unique stays right here. So this is what we want. And if you hit show all unique stays, it's going to show you all of the options that are available in this area of the world. So you could see if you can find a barn, you could stay in a boat, you can stay in a farm, you can stay in a castle, a cave, a houseboat. But I think for Amsterdam, it will be mainly boats or houseboats where you could stay by the canal. So let's say, I'm looking for a boat and I'm looking for a houseboat and search and there it is. You can see that there are a few options that are showing up right here. So let's pick one of them just to kind of see what it looks like. So let's pick Johanna. Stay 15 minutes from Amsterdam on a boat, Johanna. So this is what the boat looks like from the outside. I just think that it's pretty neat to be able to stay in a boat as an experience. So here are some of the photos inside of the boats and that's just an example. You can you can pick what type of accommodation you are interested in. Uh, I've seen in the past that they even have some luxurious boat stays that you can look for, but I feel like generally speaking, you are likely to find uh, reasonable prices on Airbnb compared to going through a different company. That's just my guess. So that's for Amsterdam. If we go back here and let's change our destination, We'll keep it a little bit vague this time. I'm gonna pick United States and then I'm gonna keep the same dates, same number of guests. Okay, perfect. So because I still have on my filter boats as an option, you can see right here all of the boats that you can stay in here in the United States. Uh, but I wanna go back to filters just to kind of show you under unique stays, because I changed the destination it's showing me some more options. You can stay in a camper or an RV. You can stay in a castle, a cave, an igloo, which is pretty impressive. You can even see right here that they have some accommodation that's uh, country specific, like Casa Particular only in Cuba, Heritage Hotel in India. You can see, um, what else? Shepherd's Hut in UK or France, Trullo in Italy, which is pretty helpful. So let's say here in the United States, where do we want to stay? A lighthouse. If you are traveling to Maine or maybe Michigan, I think a lighthouse would be, would be really neat. But let's pick an igloo for right now. So I'm going to pick an igloo. Awesome. So this is what we have. Uh, a few igloos. I know sometimes the price can be a little bit high, especially if these igloos are in the middle of nowhere and especially during winter. But I'm sure if you dig a little bit deeper, you can find some reasonable prices. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, this looks really neat. So this is glamping in an igloo type of place. This would be great for a winter destination or a short trip during winter. So this is to kind of just give you an example. And like I said, there are so many options that you can choose from depending on what type of experience that you're looking for. That's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. And I hope that you guys found this video to be either useful or entertaining in one way or the other. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you very soon on another adventure.